today we came to site to basically to finalize the design for the waterproofing in this basement which is uh, in the groundwater table and about half a kilometer from the ocean it's a mixture of all different shoring systems we've got second piles you've got soldier piles and you've got uh, CSM walls behind the soldier piles uh, as you can see there is water that's coming as you can see there at the front there is water so water everywhere I'll show you go down the hall now I'll show you some details uh, this is a tricky uh, basement but it's it's uh, easily done that's not a problem the tricky part here is you've got water um, and also you've got this the soil that's silky clay that holds water as well okay just uh, follow me now i'll show you the uh, the steps that needs to be done what shouldn't be done what should be done and and so on and so forth so these wise now they are this okay there's um, a csm wall behind you've got piles in the front that these are soldier piles in the front and then we're gonna have the shot grid from there from that side to join the other pile basically the two piles now will be shot grid in between but they will be left exposed the most important thing that i wanted to mention here is as you can see the piles there full of dirt so it needs to be gurney, it needs to be uh, pressure washed. Um, I would probably recommend about 4,000 PSI to get rid of all that dirt. The reason being is, um, first of all, when you apply, you stick the uh, water stops, they will be sticking uh, nicely and they won't come off. The other thing also is uh, the concrete, uh, the shot grid would stick to the piles and it won't have to delaminate uh, from the first day. This is just uh, some housekeeping to do before you um, you start shot grading. So for this project here, you've got a multitude of different designs of piling systems. Um, that's not really an issue, but if um, everything is covered in a technical document and every, everything is spelled out. The most important thing is um, following the design and basically getting people to inspect and do the QA the right way um, and that should be fine. This is now waterproofing of CSM wall, that's a shot grid. So what you need to watch out is the bottom, the bottom of the shot grid, it needs to be clean so using um, straight edges or timber before the shot grid will make life a lot easier afterwards. So as you can see here, very rough. So it needs to be jackhammered to provide uh, water stops in there. But this is the CSM wall. So previously we looked at the um, second walls, uh, second piles. So now this one is CSM walls. They're not that great. So our shot grid has to be done properly. So over there, that's where we have the second piles. And that's in the groundwater table. And basically the soil, that's another problem. That's a silty clay that holds a lot of water that creates a multitude of um, false groundwater tables. And those false groundwater tables, they occur when it rains or there is a burst water mains or there is a creek around. Uh, it's temporary but enough to give you a heartache so this is um, a basement that's three level basement in the groundwater table and this is probably about a uh, half kilometer from the ocean So we will be providing um, a full waterproofing system, which is basically tanking the entire basement all the way to the ground floor. 
wherever you find groundwater table, which is the permanent groundwater table, as per the British Standards 8102 2022. If you find a groundwater table anywhere in, uh, in the basement, you've got actually to provide a continuous waterproofing all the way to the ground.